I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, which in Hebrew are the wonderful names of the Creator, our Heavenly Father I Am, which this world has named God, and His beloved anointed Son, which this world has named Jesus. I give honor, respect, and thanks to all the true, faithful, and sincere apostles, elders, prophets, and torchbearers of the nation of Israel, who have willingly endured and risked much to bring forth the truth. Thank you, brothers. In this chapter, we are going to continue to talk about wisdom. Wisdom, the holy shield for the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel being the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latins, Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans. We will begin in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. It may seem right to fit in with this world. It may seem right to hide your sin. It may seem right to go along with the philosophies and the doctrines of this current world, which is a time frame a span of time, an age. It may seem right to pleasure every desire of your flesh. It may seem right to enjoy absolute freedom. It may seem right to do what you want to do, when you want to do it, how you want to do it. It may seem right to believe that you control your life. But the end thereof are the ways of death. When you have wisdom, you have the commandments and you have the statutes and you have the laws. You have the power of prayer. Through Yahweh Shai, you have the power of remission of sins, forgiveness of sins. We're all sinners. And it may seem right to think that you're not. <laughs> but we are all sinners. But the end thereof are the ways of of death. The Father has laid out a way for us in this Bible. This Bible being the recorded voice of Yahweh, the Most High Power, the Creator of heaven and earth. He's laid out a way. The ways that are not along that way are the ways of death. They lead to death. Let's jump down to 15. The simple believeth every word. Do you believe that man has the power to say to you, you can decide what sex you want to be when Yahweh has given you your sex at birth. If you have male plumbing, you're a man. If you have female plumbing, you are a female. Do you think man can tell you that you can make that choice? Do you think man can tell you that your child can make that choice about their sexuality at four years old or five years old? The father says in this book to discipline your child. Do you think man has the right to tell you not to discipline your child? And for you to believe that? For those of you in church, your enemy taught you this Bible. Not someone of your own nation who the father has blessed with discernment. But you have learned, but you have learned about the Bible from your enemy. You think your enemy wants you to wake up? The simple believeth every word, but the prudent, again, prudent meaning discerning, discernment, understanding, knowledge. But the prudent man looketh well to his going. Which way should I go? What is the way set out for me by the Father? How do I adhere to that? The prudent man looketh well to that saying, I will not do these things that, uh, that go against my father. I will not do that. I will not covet. I will not steal. I will not bear false witness against my neighbor. I will not eat pork. I will, I'll dress like a male. If I'm a male, I will dress like a female. If I'm a female, looketh well to his going, caring for the path that they walk, caring for the path that they are on. Let's go now to Ecclesiasticus chapter 3, verse 29. This is in the Apocrypha. It's also referred to as the book of Sirach. The heart of the prudent will understand a parable. Many things written in the Bible are written in a parable. 
which again, it's a spiritual lock. A parable is a spiritual lock. And if you are given wisdom and discernment by the father, you will be able to decode that lock and you will be able to understand what is being said. The father knew that this Bible would be in the hands of the enemy. He knew it. But those who returned in truth and sincerity and with humility and who prayed, Father, bless me with knowledge and wisdom and understanding, these things would be opened up to them. The heart of the prudent will understand a parable and attentive ear is the desire of a wise man wanting to listen, wanting to learn, wanting to be a spiritual creature and not locked into this flesh, willing to be a spiritual baby and to grow in the spirit and to grow in this truth. That's the desire of a wise man to listen to the father's commandments and statutes, to listen for the examples in this Bible, to listen to the instruction and look well to his going. Prudent means to discern. It's crucial to be able to discern the times that we live in right now in this world. It's one of the things that Yahawashai said. You can discern this, you can discern that, but you can't discern what's going on right now. First and foremost, video games, music videos, sports events, these things are distractions to keep you distracted, to keep you away from wisdom, to keep you away from this Bible, to keep you away from your father. They're all distractions. If you have discernment, you will be able to see that this world, this time frame, this age is crumbling. It's falling apart. It's so bad that people are resorting to video games and virtual reality to escape this world. It's so rotten. It's so bad. It's so hopeless. It's hopeless. That's how you know we're at the end of this age. It's hopeless. People have no hope. If you are of the nation of Israel, you have hope. You have hope. There's a new kingdom coming. But you will be able to discern if you are prudent, you will be able to discern that even the other nations know that this age, this time period, this world is coming to an end. And they're doing their best to avoid it and to run from it. Let's go now to Hosea 14 and 9. Who is wise? And he shall understand these things. Prudent, and he shall know them. For the ways of Yahweh are right, and the just shall walk in them. Who is wise? Israel. And he shall understand these things. Have an understanding of who the Father is, and who Yahweh is, and of the history of Israel. How we are in captivity right now, the last of our last captivity. But yes, we are in captivity right now. That this is a spiritual battle. That we are on a spiritual battlefield. Prudent and he shall know them. His spirit will know the truth. The truth will live in him. The truth shall live in him. He will know without a doubt that Yahweh is real. That Yahweh Shai is real. That this, that this Bible is real. That the prophecies are real. That Yahweh Shai is coming back. That Israel will be the top nation on this earth, world without end. For the ways of Yahweh are right. They preserve your life. They preserve your soul. He created everything. So when he says, hear the instructions, read the instructions. That's knowledge. That's wisdom. That's understanding. And the just shall walk in them. Here's the way. Those other ways are are death, pleasuring your flesh with every desire that leads to death. Abominations, idol worship, pork, crab, shrimp, these all lead to death. But the transgressors shall fall therein. Transgress the laws and the statutes and the commandments of the Father and you're going to fall. He's given you the instructions. He speaks to us. Like a parent 
speaks to a child with love and nurturing. He speaks to us. The prudent know that and hear it and live in the truth. Let's go back to Proverbs. Here's why wisdom is your holy shield. Your holy shield. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. When you are able to discern and understand and see the truth, you will hide yourself. You will hide yourself under the wings of the Most High. You will hide yourself in this Bible. You will hide yourself from sin. You will hide yourself from wicked people. You will hide yourself from temptation. You will hide yourself from the second death of fire, which is coming. The final judgment on this earth is coming. And you will hide yourself. How will you hide yourself? You will prepare yourself. You will pray for forgiveness of your sins. You will walk away from those sins. You will follow these commandments and these statutes. You will follow the Most High's laws to the best of your abilities here in captivity. You will pray. You will fast. You will read this Bible. If the Most High blesses you, you will go out and teach. You will heed the warnings of the prophecies in this Bible. Because if you're prudent, which means you have wisdom, and you have discernment and you have understanding, you will read the Bible and see that Israel was warned repeatedly about every judgment that was going to come upon them. And there were those who listened and those who didn't. And those who didn't got exactly what was prophesied. The brothers are out here warning you that nuclear destruction is coming, that World War Three is coming, that the final judgment is coming, that Yahweh Shai is returning with the angels. We're warning you. You need to prepare yourself, Israel. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. The prudent can discern that this world is a lie and it is false and it is wicked and will not be relaxed and comfortable here. But the simple pass on. They just enjoy themselves. They're like, oh yeah, I'm having a blast here. This is fun. I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. Yahweh Shai said, as in the days of Noah, so shall the return of the Son of Man be. Meaning they, they were eating, drinking, giving into marriage until Noah walked into the ark. That's the way it's going to be with this second death, the second death of fire. People are going to be eating, drinking, giving into marriage, and then here comes judgment. Here it is. If you are simple, you're going to pass by this Bible. You're going to pass by this opportunity. You're going to pass by what the brothers are saying to you. You're going to pass by the father's outstretched hand to you saying, come home. But if you take up your holy shield of wisdom and you acknowledge who Yahweh is and you acknowledge who Yahweh Shai is in truth and sincerity, because remember, your enemy taught you the Bible and told you what your history is. But the brothers have been out here to tell you the truth, Israel, of who you are. That the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latins, Hispanics, the so-called Native Americans are the holy, chosen, peculiar nation of Yahweh, the most high power, the creator of heaven and earth. We are his jewels. He loves us and he's coming back for us. He had to punish us, but he's coming back for us. If you can pick up your holy shield of wisdom and know who you are. And keep that with you on a day-to-day -day basis. Then you can pick up the big shield. The big heavy-duty shield. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Where which ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked when you have your shield your holy shield of wisdom and you know who you are and you know who your father is and you know who you serve and you know what's coming ahead you know this final judgment's coming and that this world this time frame and this age is coming to an end then you make your choice good against evil the godly against the sinner that's all there is so when you make your choice through wisdom you stand with the godly 
You stand with the nation of Israel. You stand with Yahweh Shai and you stand with Yahweh. But you know who they are. You know Yahweh Shai, the one they call Christ, is a black man. Then you know he died the death of a so called black man. A horrible, horrible public death. Only so called black men die like that. You know the truth. And when you know the truth of who you are, then you can have faith. Then you can have that heavy duty shield of faith. What good is it to say I have faith in, 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 in sweet Jesus if you believe he's a so-called white man? What good is that kind of faith? What good is faith if you believe you're going to be walking around on clouds and little naked baby angels are going to be buzzing past your head? That's a that's a lie. How can you have faith if you don't have the holy shield of wisdom? Faith in what? You have to know who you serve before you can have absolute faith and pick up that heavy shield of faith. You have to know who you are to defend yourself. You have to know who your nation is before you can defend something with a shield. Because faith is not a physical thing. That's all spiritual. And if you are living in this flesh... And you don't have wisdom of who you are and who the father is and that the heaven exists and that this is a spiritual battle that you can't even pick up the shield of faith. That's a heavy duty shield. Above all, taking the shield of faith where which ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. When you're able to pick up that heavy duty shield of faith, the adversary knows who you are. You've chosen, you've made your side. As the prudent man, you know, and you will be tried. You will be attacked because this is a spiritual battle. Without the holy shield of wisdom, you cannot pick up the heavy duty shield of faith because it is a spiritual shield. I am grateful to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai for everything that has been created, even for this opportunity to come home. Yes, there are trials and tribulations and obstacles. Yes, there is frustration. Yes, there is sorrow. Yes, there is pain. But we as a nation turned our back on our father who chose us. And we must pay our penance. And I'm okay with that. I'm just a soldier in this battle. And I am grateful. Unless you know who you are. And unless you know what you're fighting for. You can't touch that shield of faith. This is serious business Israel. Through having the holy shield of wisdom. And knowing who you are. And knowing what's prophesied. Your faith will be the most powerful thing you have when nuclear bombs start dropping. It will be the most powerful defense that you have when nuclear bombs start dropping. You will not flinch. You will not hesitate. You will not run. You will know that Yahweh Shai and the angels are coming for you. You will know it as the prudent man knoweth. You will know that faith is a heavy duty shield, but you must know what you have faith in. Do you have faith in the truth or do you have faith in a lie, in an idol, in nonsense? Please, Israel, claim your holy shield. Make no mistake about it, World War III and the nuclear destruction of America are coming. It will coincide exactly with the return of our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior, High Priest and Brother, Yahweh Shai. Thus saith Yahweh. Philippians 2, 9 through 11. Wherefore, Yahweh also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahweh Shai every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord to the glory of Yahweh the Father. As it is written, thus saith Yahweh, and nothing can stop it. 
This is a final warning, Israel. Shake off this world, remember who you are, and come home. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai.